Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joyce Akong and I'm back with another makeup tutorial on my beautiful client. Um, first off, I want to say sorry that I've been MIA for a little minute, but I'm here now and I'm bringing to you guys this cut crease uh, makeup tutorial with glitter and a little bit of um, pigment. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love the tutorials that I bring to you guys. And if you guys enjoy me doing voiceovers, please let me know down below in the comment section so I know what you guys want. And I'll bring that to you guys the next time I do, I post another makeup tutorial. Alright, let's get started with um i'm going in with my gel liner from uh ruby kisses in dark brown and i'm just filling in her eyebrows and just literally i'm just filling in the gaps that she has and i'm following her natural eyebrow shape because she did have like you know some you know a nice shape to it <laughs> But yeah, and I'm just brushing that up to just blend everything in and going back and filling in a little bit more just to um, fill in all the gaps that's on there. And I'm doing the same thing on the other eyebrow just to, you know, get the shape that I want and something that goes with her face, just following her natural um, eyebrow shape as well. And yeah. And I'm also using an angled brush. It makes it makes it a whole lot easier if you use a, an angled brush, okay? And I'm going in with this Magic Collection Concealer in shade uh, Golden Tan. And I'm just going ahead and cleaning up her brows. And I'm just following the shape that I had before. And I'm just filling that in just to get it nice and clean. So if you mess up doing the eyebrows, um, that's why we conceal to just to clean that up. So don't be afraid to mess up or when you mess up, just know that you can always go back and clean that up with your concealer. And I like to use like a shade or two um, lighter than my client's um, skin tone just for the eyebrows to stand out a little bit more. And I'm going ahead and doing the same thing for the top, but I'm not taking it all the way to the top, to the front, the beginning of the eyebrows, just because I want it to flow into her skin. I don't want, I didn't want, you know, the line at the, at the front. I just wanted that smooth effect in the front, just because I like the way that looked better on her. And I'm just blending that in with my little concealer brush. <laughs> And I'm just patting. I'm not really like rubbing or anything like that. I'm using the patting motion just to lock in the concealer on her, you know, her face. And I'm going back in just to fill in the brows a little bit more. Just to um, add more color to it. Now I'm taking my Sahara palette from Juvia's Place. Y'all know I love these palettes. And I'm taking those two shades right there. And I'm putting that on her crease. I'm using that as the crease um, color. Not really as the trans, somewhat like the transition as well. And I'm using the orange in the Zulu palette and the yellow as um, the crease color and the transition color. I'm going to use the um, yellow for the, just to blend out the um, crease color a little bit more and yeah there you go <laughs> just to blend that out a little bit more just to remove the harshness on there and just to make the eyes you know a little bit more colorful because this is one of my favorite palettes I just love it <laughs> and I'm just packing the color on her crease just to get more um, pigmentation and also I don't really like to start off with a lot of um, color I like to build my way up I don't really like to just start off with a strong color on there and I'm going ahead and doing the same thing on the other eye I'm just building that up 
starting on the crease and I'm just applying those shades on there from the Sahara pal palette sorry Sahara palette and I'm just building it upwards and after that I'm gonna go in with the Zulu palette with the orange and the yellow starting with the orange first just to blend that that crease color out a little bit and then going in with the yellow just to uh, further blend out the orange just to give it more color you know different a gradient color Just remember to blend 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 okay blend 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 like it's very important just to get the, the the look for everything to be blended out you have to keep blending and I use about three different brushes for that um, blending now I'm going in with this uh, Sahara 2 palette I believe and I'm just blending okay I'm putting that color towards the crease just to make it a little bit darker um, just to define it more and I'm just patting that on there and you know working my way up upwards a little bit like just little by little not just dragging the color there now I'm going back in with the orange um, the brush that I use with for the orange and the yellow and I'm just blending that all in now I'm taking that same concealer um, that I use for her uh, eyebrows yeah I believe and I'm just going in and cutting her crease I'm going in now with the Inglot gel liner in 94 and I'm gonna finish off her crease I really like this gel liner I saw it on um, one of my one of the uh, makeup artists that I follow and um, one of my friends as a makeup artist she also uses this as well and she recommended it to me too so I really I really like it and it just cuts the crease a little easier you know because it's very smooth on the eyes but it's, it's shimmery so you want to keep that in mind Now I'm going in with this NYX pigment. Okay guys, this pigment is bomb. I really liked it. I like using it. And I'm just going in and putting that on the inner corners of the eye. And just to make that pop. And now I'm taking this um, holographic glitter. And I'm just applying that towards the outside. The, out, the outside corners or the outside of the eye. Just to... um make that eye pop because that was the look that I, we were going for she wanted something with glitter and you know I believe this would work best Glitter is very messy guys, but I believe like at the end is worth it because it's really messy, but it's so beautiful. And now I'm going back in with the same pigment as before and I'm just applying that, reapplying that on the inner corners of the eye just to make it pop a little bit more and to get that transition and it just makes it look better. Now I'm going in with my NYX gel liner, I believe in black or jet black, the darkest color. Um, and I'm just uh, lining her eyes. I went for a short wing this time just because that was just what I, I just wanted a short wing. But you can do a long wing if that's what you want or that's what you prefer. You can go ahead and do that. But I wanted a short wing so that's what I did. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. I really like this um, liner. I, I don't know, like it, it works best for me. Whatever works for you, use that. Um, you don't really have to use the same things that I use. 
but I would rec like I would recommend the eyeshadow palettes that I do use you know they are really good and the pigmentation is very good like I love Juvia's place and plus it's a black business so y'all know your girl has to support now I'm just going in with a makeup remover and a pad a little makeup um, pad wipe whatever they call it and I'm just removing the glitter on her face um, yeah that's the mess up the mess up part about glitter it's messy now I'm just um, spraying her face with the um, I believe is the rose water and now I'm applying uh, organ organ oil on her face just to bring back the um, the, just to moisturize her face and also I used um, milk of magnesia as well just to control her oils and now I'm going in with the foundation from Maybelline in cappuccino and I'm blending that all over her face and I'm just patting that into her skin Now I'm going back in with that same concealer I used for our eyebrows, the Golden Tan in um, Magic Collections. And I'm just applying that underneath her eyes for a highlight. And I'm also going back in um, cleaning up the eyeliner just to make it stand out a little bit more. And this helps um, for you not to mess it up. Because we can mess it up with a beauty blender trying to go in there or a brush trying to go in under the eyeliner it will mess up mess it up so this technique is pretty good now I'm just patting that concealer into her skin and working my way down into her chin underneath her eyes her cupid's bow um, her nose I'm just blending all that in And I'm going back in with my foundation brush and I'm also just patting that uh, concealer and blending everything into her skin. Now I'm going in with my setting powder, a banana setting powder just to set underneath her eyes. And I'm using the pad just because I like the way, the flawlessness of the um, pad. Now I'm going back in to contour her face and I'm using a uh, foundation from Maybelline in shade Cappuccino. No, not Cappuccino. I'm, us I'm using Mocha. And I'm just going in and blending that out. And I'm going back in with my foundation brush and just blending everything out as well. The contour. And I'm just going in with my powder from um, BH Cosmetics and I'm just blending, I'm just patting in on her. Um, Wherever I did not apply a setting powder, I'm just going in with this powder just to set every, everywhere else. And now I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. I love this palette. That's why I'm running out. But I love this palette. It's really good. Really, really good. And I just wish they had darker shades. I, I believe these shades are not enough for dark um, skinned women. We are like, there's a pretty huge range of dark skinned women and for a black brand I believe that they can you know add more shades to this color to this um, palette to fit to soothe like you know different skin skin tones of black women and now I'm just taking that setting powder underneath just to highlight her contour a little bit more to make it stand out and now I'm blending and contouring that nose with that same contour powder now I'm going in with my one of my favorite highlights from Juvia's Place I think in Royalty 
yeah and I'm just going in and um, putting that on her cheeks just to highlight her face I like those cheeks and I'm applying that on her nose her forehead her cupid's bow her chin and I believe that's about it yeah Now I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm just lining underneath her eyes just to make that pop and stand out a little bit more. Now I'm taking the same shades that I used on her um, crease and I'm applying that underneath her eyes. And I'm taking that black shade from the palette as well and I'm just smoking her bottom um, lash line. And I'm going back in and just cleaning um, her brush, I mean her brows, sorry guys. Um, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but whenever I do makeup, I always have to go back in and fill in the brows just because sometimes foundation do mess that up. So I just like to go back in and clean it up a little bit more. And I'm just applying some mascara on her top and bottom lashes. And I'm going back in with that same um, pigment from NYX and I'm applying that in, on her inner corners of her eyes just to make it pop and I'm taking this lip liner I'm, I'm not sure what name that is I'll try and leave it down below I know a lot of you ladies you know want me to I'm gonna try and leave it down below so you guys can grab this lip liner it's one of my favorite and it's very creamy as well and I'm taking this wet and wild um, lipstick and I'm just applying that and I'm taking this um, it's like a nude pinkish lipstick and my uh, gloss and I'm just using those two just to make her uh, lip pop a little bit more because we're going for a glossy lip not too glossy just the right mount now I'm taking my morphe setting spray setting mist and I'm just spraying that all over her face just to set everything and I'm going back in with that highlight from Juvia's place just to highlight underneath her brows just to make it stand out a little bit more and you know make it pop you know I'm blending my eyes and the highlight so they can both just have a great transition to it and we're done guys this is the final look I hope you guys love and enjoy this uh, makeup tutorial and I really just I enjoyed doing this look and I hope you guys enjoy it as well watching it and I hope it's really helpful for you guys to be able to create this look on your own thank you so much and God bless you bye bye stay black and beautiful